Welcome back class, I'm Matt, your guide here on Y Caliber. We are playing Pillars of Eternity. At long last I got to play it sure. some more. And I am attempting to further explore this region. Welcome. Yes. Great. Oh dear, what happened? A great monstrous thing. I suppose so. Uh-oh. Yeah, that may be a good choice to, you know, not... ...not get screwed up by a bear. But I do like to explore. Hmm, more camping supplies. Excellent. Interesting over this way. Nothing I can get to at the moment. That's okay. How about over here? I think this is up near where we found. Oh, there's a wolf there. Okay. And switch. And strike. How much am I? I've got. I've got enough. thing. Alright, we got it. Huh? Huh? What have you got? What's this? Mm-hmm. Shattered crates all over the place. Now, we've been up here before, I think. Not this part, though. Now, our job right now is to get to the Gilded Vale. So maybe I should just go there and stop screwing around like this? I mean, that would be... Oops, no, not you. That would be the smart move, right? Not going to look for this bear cave. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go into the bear cave right now. But I'm going to remember it's there and hopefully be able to return at some point. Veil, but I can't get there from this exit. So I need to go back down. That's fine. There's still a bit more to this map. A little bit at least. A tiny, a tiny amount. You know, I probably could have gone through this map without fighting those, uh, those jerks at all. Alright, back to the map, and then we'll go down to the Veil. Vale. Well, eight hours is better than... better than nothing. I can come back here, you know, when I've... when I've... maybe got a party again and kill that bear? But for now, I just can't bear the thought of losing again. Though I do get the feeling I'm probably going to die a lot in this game. Okay. Yeah, we, we're there. Day three. It's kind of dark. It's not, it's not nice out at the moment, so maybe we can find this inn. I mean, you'd, think, you'd think the inn would be fairly easy to find. Is that it? 
Oh, okay, never mind. What? Why is this here? You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Okay. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever conceived a hollow-born child? Uh... What? An infant born without a soul, of course. Lord Raderick has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. H how do you know? I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. Right. His lordship's wife is with child and do any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. Okay. I don't want to ask this guy about help with my illness, because I don't want him to hang me from a tree. Okay, dude. How do you... Hmm. Okay, can I just leave? I don't want to ask him that question. Yeah, I don't want to ask him this question, because it's a bad, stupid move, and my character's not bad or stupid. But I apparently don't have a choice to just say, okay, thanks, bye. Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an Animancer. However, the only Animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. You know, I'm going to go ahead and say that Lord Radric is not a good person. I'm getting that feeling. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. Mm. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Alright, dude. Keep out of... Listen! Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Yeah? Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. Fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. Okay. Alrighty then. told me I could go poke through this person's pockets, so... Hello. Were you looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. <laughs> Is that it? I guess that's it.
There's some gross stuff here. Blood moss. Lovely. Uh, what do we got? That leads down. Crude carving. The sun rising over three stars. I know down is where I want to go at the moment. The rest of the inn sounds nice. So we'll head that away. Which... I'm assuming the end is that one to the east, not this one. But there are some people here who may want to chat. Like villager. They're always chatty folk. No fortune tellers, then. Is Lord Radrick a superstitious man or a man who hates superstition? Clink! Okay. Give me your soul. Hmm. Okay. We can see the past of souls now? Zlorks the usurper. Tell me your soul. Oh. Well, that wasn't very nice. Let's see what's in this house, if anything. Because I'm a murder hobo, I'm just going to come in here and... I'm sure they won't mind if I come into their house and just... You know... Take all their stuff. Alfra. Cat. Huh. Oh, no, I can't take that. It's If it's red, that means it's stealing. Yeah. Let's not steal. My dear wooden woman. Hi. Good day to you. Yes. Uh. Yeah. Oh, your Kalish's sister. Wow, I could be cruel, but I will be benevolent instead. Hmm. Well, I don't have either of those things. I'll take a look. Okay, well, that's good. Maybe this will work out if we can ever figure out where Anslag's compass is and find Mother Ranga. Ranga, 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 do 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 do, Ranga, Ranga, do 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 do, do Mother Ranga. That's her theme song now. Whatever uh, beautiful orchestral score they've put in here, it doesn't matter because I've usurped it. I've replaced it with a much better theme song, which I think uh, captures Mother Ranga's personality much more thoroughly. Oh, 
there's more stuff there. Give me that stuff. I want this stuff, and I want to. I want to pick all the stuff off the walls. Excuse me. I've got to pick this settler's arrow off the wall. If you don't mind, I'm sure. Oh wait, another godlike. So you've had an interesting life, eh? Let's go find the inn. This says it is a black hammer smithery, which is probably not uh, an inn, but it's worth checking out, I think, because sometimes inns have very strange and unusual names, so, uh, it's entirely possible that this is, in fact, an inn. Commoner, commoner, guard. Ready for the forge, indeed. Hello, apprentice. You look busy. How about these bellows? They look nice. Sigh into the furnace. Dugan Steel Collar. Dugan? Zorips, okay. Oh, he's a chanter. Cool. Seems like a cool dude. We can't actually chat, though. Hmm. Oh. So I can't actually talk to them. They're just, they're just there. Almwa. Oh, you, oh well, what happened? Oh, poor people. I'll take a look. Up, so north. I'll give it a shot. Okay, so that's all theft. Let's get out of here and search for an inn so that we can move this story forward. I think until we sleep at the inn, nothing else is going to happen event-based triggers and all that. As is the fashion in these older RPGs. And new RPGs, too, honestly. I mean, how long did we spend screwing around in Inquisition? These guys are really sad about their fortune tellers. No door that we can access on this one. Well, if nobody minds if I take this stuff out of this box. Is this an inn? There's no sign, but they have beer in a box outside, so I can only assume that this is the kind of thing an inn would do. How do you do? Right. Uh huh. Right. 
right. Mm hmm. Fair enough. What have we got here? A book on the Deerwood. Oh, that's cool. I'll take this book with me. You never know when you'll need it. Sonred. Sonred? I don't know what Sonred is. A type of alcohol, I assume. I hope you don't mind that I've just robbed you. You don't seem to mind. I guess you didn't need those, those pieces there. So... So much the better. Worse for you, but, you know, fine for me. My soul whip! I'm pretty, pretty excited by my soul whip. And hopefully we'll see it in action again soon. After we find the inn. Is this an inn? Mmm, good rot chew. Sounds delicious. Are these ghosts? Is that a ghost? Yeah. That was a ghost. Mm-hmm. Well, I know that you know it was a ghost because we both saw it. Oh, this person looks interesting. you, Mr. Hat. <laughs> Interesting. How about this guy? No, he's just a villager. Careful if you head east. They don't patrol the Black Meadow, which I think we have to go through for one of these quests we picked up. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to grab that. There we go. Now let's pop into the inn. Get into it. I'm going to invite myself. This doesn't look like an inn at all. Part 3. Did I ever get part one? I don't think I did. The fair conning. Oh. What? Really? 